Hello, and welcome to this Untamed Screencast tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up a skeleton framework based homepage in under five minutes. So let's get started. As you can see here, I've linked our main style sheets, our base, skeleton, and layout style sheets. You could compact all of these styles into one main style sheet. It's just a good idea to keep the code ordered in this specific way, base, skeleton, and layout. Also, I've added a few styles just to help differentiate our page and help some elements stand out, specifically our footer. And here is the HTML that we get to play with today. I've created a main containing div, a hero div that will span the full length of our site, three supporting columns, and a footer. So I want to show you what this looks like in plain HTML. As you can see, we don't have many styles outside of the original style that we did in our header. Here's our three columns and our hero unit along with an image. So let's get this set up. To our containing div, we will add exactly that, the class of container. To our hero div, we can add we want it to span the full width, so we want to add 16 columns to that. To our image, we want it to be able to scale with the grid that we have, so we're going to add a class of scale with grid. We don't have to do anything to our horizontal row, our h1 tag, or our text because it will automatically scale to the class presented by our hero unit and the 16 columns. Next, we need to make sure that we align our three subcolumns that will fit under our hero unit. So, to do that, we can add of a class of one. 1 third column. And actually, let's erase these so we can just duplicate this on through. So you can see that we have 1 third column, 1 third column, and a 1 third column, and this should span the full width of our containing element being 16 columns. Also, our footer require, will require the same class of 16 columns since we also want it to span the full width. So we'll add that now. All right, and that should do it. So here's our initial document and let's give it a refresh. And now, as you can see, we have created our hero unit, spanning the full width, our home image, as well as our three columns, and you can see that they fit perfectly within that main containing element. We've also, we also have the footer spanning the full width as well. So, how is this responsive? Well, let me show you. We can take our browser and we can resize it. As you can see, I'm going to get to a tablet format, so this would fit really nicely on an iPad, and we just fit everything and you can see that the image scales with that as well since we add that scale to grid class. Next, let's test out the phone. So, that is a maybe an Android would be here and you can see that we've taken all of these columns and we've responsively just placed them under each other so they've kind of folded and how about a smaller phone? And it works as well. So skeletons are a really great way to responsibly complete design in a quick way